I wanted to show y'all the reactions of the people that are mad about your choice. You know, it's so crazy to me that black men are still being blamed for the reason that Trump is elected president. Black men can't catch a break. <laughs> Yo, it's amazing how these people really still blaming black men for everything. When black men was about 5 to 20%. Like, we wasn't even a majority that we not the reason that he won. But it's just the fact that black men can't catch a break, dog. The numbers show them that we are the... We voted, black men voted for Trump, very few numbers. The number says it right there. I think it was, a, I think it was like five or maybe more than five. I can't remember. I know it was no more than 20%. I think it was a small number. In the chart, it shows it right there. Black men mostly voted for Kamala, right? Okay, it was 23. Okay, bro, it said it was like 23%. That's equal up to five. <laughs> so, okay. Mind you, you know, um, I was never for Kamala. You know, just me being, me being blunt. But the majority of black men, and, and, and it's funny, though, because the reason most black men vote for Democrat is because that they feel they would get this type of pressure. It's crazy that dudes... Can't even have their own pick of who they would like to vote for based on the interests and the things that they are aligned with. It's amazing that you can't even, yo, who do these people think we are? Kids? What you, you telling me that as a grown man, you don't know what best for you? <laughs> so, 73% of men, black men voted for Kamala, 23% voted for Trump, and 2% others. And they still blaming us. How are they blaming us? So they saying if we would have, they said if they would have had that extra 23% she would have won, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. But it's just amazing to me that these people really see black men as kids. Let me ask you something. Do that man have enough sense and choice to pay that light bill of the house you stay in with him? I'm pretty sure he have enough sense to do that, huh? Do he have enough sense to, you know, buy you nice things on Valentine's Day, Christmas, you know, New Year's and anniversary? He have enough sense for that, huh? But he don't have enough sense to pick the right candidate that's best suited for him. It's amazing that these people really think we're dumb. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. Y'all like never voted for Trump. Well, I mean, how many of us been voting for Democrats for, let's say, the last 40, 50, 60 years? What have changed for the black community? But all of a sudden now the black community saying, yo, ding, 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 light bulb went off. I've been voting my family and my family family and my family family before my family family before them family been voting democrat ain't nothing have changed for our generation our culture you know what i think we're gonna switch over to voting for the other side now it's amazing bro it's amazing when you try to get off the plantation how but you know that's a saying when you try to up your life and your friends ain't up in their life you know what they doing? Get back over here. When you try to leave the plantation, boy, they don't like it when you leave, do it. They don't like it when you say, the things that are going on in our country, I don't agree with. I don't agree with a lot of things that is going on in the United States of America. Can somebody do something about it? The Democrats said, well, scratch that. Obama. This dude' whole legacy is built on helping the rainbow community, and he got a nerve to talk to black men. Man, Obama, Obama, see that's what's wrong with us. 
Obama played so many people, bro. I really, I, I didn't vote for Obama. Because I knew he was a sucker. Obama, Obama been the president for the last eight years. That nigga actually had eight years. Now, hold on. Because Biden didn't get to re rerun. So Obama had four. What he had? What he had? Eight? What the nigga had? The nigga had eight years, didn't he? Cause he ran his own. He had he did two terms. The nigga did eight himself. Then the nigga came back and did the Joe Biden shit. Cause you know Joe Biden wasn't running shit. The nigga been in office for the last three terms. <laughs> Obama, go sit down, bro. We don't fuck with you no more, bro. We seen what you did when you was in office. We seen who you took care of. You. We not stupid, bro. And then this nigga got a nerve to say, don't make me go get Michelle. Who the fuck give a fuck about you going to get your wife, nigga? These niggas think we kids. These, these niggas are talking to grown men. Don't make me go get Michelle. Michelle would get on y'all. Get on who? That ain't my motherfucking woman. Who she gonna? That ain't my mama. Who she gonna get on? Michelle don't run that over here. Don't make me go get Michelle. Man, you'll get your cup ass up out of here, bro. You got us with the swag. No, my bad. You got them with the swag. He got swag. We ain't gonna deny that. I would be I would be a hater to deny his swag. He's smooth than the motherfucker. You feel me? I would be I would be I would be lying to get up here and say Obama don't have that swag and that and that persona to to pull a few niggas in. Come on, that's one of the, that's the, probably the coolest, smoothest president president we done had. But when it comes to who he, we know who he for. If you ain't switching and trying to go into girls' bathroom and you know you're a boy, if you ain't trying to get no sex change and all that, Obama ain't really fucking with you. Obama ain't checking for you if you ain't your name wasn't Lil Kim and now you done switch it to Tim. Yo, your mama named you Kim, and now your name Tim. Obama don't. If your name, if you ain't got that going on, Obama ain't really checking for you. Well, we know who he blessed. We know what he did. We this nigga lit up the whole White House. Did he lit it? Did he light the White House, White House up in black? He could have put a black fume over the fucking White House, but he ain't do that. What he did? This nigga put the whole White House in rainbow colors. Come on, dog. Why you ain't light the bitch up black then? I'm just saying though, he he, he now he want to talk to us. These people act like we are fucking idiots, bro. Scratch that. We moving forward though. So that's what we reacting to tonight. We're gonna be reacting to some 2K content. Then we're gonna be looking at this, this um, these Democrats meltdown. Cause I don't give a fuck. Trump ain't finna support me. He gonna support me. Passively. This nigga, bro, we really got immigrants coming over here committing crazy crimes. Crazy crimes. But they try to act like we as black men and women, we so bad. These motherfuckers coming over here committing crazy crimes, not even getting prosecuted. They just get deported. What? Man, no! You ain't gonna... We, we commit these same crimes, bro. You know what happened to us? You go underneath the jail. You don't see daylight no more. But these niggas getting slapped on the wrist. Ankle monitors. You gonna give a motherfucker an ankle monitor that just came across a border wearing one shoe, no socks, Dirty jeans that he had on for five weeks. Laying down in the grass. Bugs eating the fuck. That nigga right there got an ankle monitor. For real. Be for real. Bro, how many times do your family member throw you away for having a criminal record? How many times do black men have a criminal record for supporting their family. Hold on. Listen to what I'm saying. How many black men are in jail. 
with a criminal record because they were trying to feed their family. And then the family outcast them. See, they don't talk about that. See, it's easy to say, oh, we voted for a criminal. Well, we know what we know what what criminals, the treatment of a criminal. There's some of us that have committed crimes that we necessarily didn't have to do. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and act like everybody had to make that choice. But there were some people that didn't have no other choice. There were some people that you know, got tired of filling out a thousand applications and not getting nowhere. There was a lot of people that was tired of being in line saying, hey, I'm qualified for the job, but they look over you and they hire the person next to you that don't have your skin color. We're not going to say it's not real. It's real. But a lot of people, you know, you put your own self in these situations. You know, you, you, you hit the blunt before you go to work. You, you you drinking all night, partying all night. So we're not gonna say yes. See, I I I'm, I'm am in a position to where I can see both sides. I can see, and I have seen motherfuckers get passed over because they had dreads. I done seen niggas be qualified for the position, but because he looked like one of them niggas, you know what I mean when I say one of them niggas, he looked like he might be an issue. And they said, no, nah, we ain't gonna. We ain't gonna hire him. And you know me, at the time, I'm sitting back like, damn, they can do shit like this? Oh, yeah, they, they got the power to fire and hire whoever they choose. They got the power to not even let you inside their building. This is private property. Um, If they don't want you here, you don't. Y'all know I do security, right? There's this location that I work at. A black man don't stand a chance getting in there. If he don't look like an uppity black man. Let me tell you this. I'm a realist. And. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I'm not racist to nobody. Not even my own kind. See I'm not racist to black people. So I don't see a black man that want to get in this establishment. Because he's supposed to be high class. And he maybe don't dress as well as y'all. See, I still allow him to come through the door. Guess what? So a black man will come through the door, right? Let's say he dressed mediocre. He not as suited and booted as the other people would be. And it's no dress code because you got some Latinos in here with muscle shirt on. You got some white boys in here with t-shirts on. There's no dress code, but because they look a certain way, I pat them down, let them in, because I don't know it's no issue. I don't know it's no pressure. Guess what? Soon as they see them cameras and they see them niggas in there, hey, they can't be here. I, I said, huh? I'm lost. No, they can't be. You got to tell them they got to leave. What? Yeah, they got to leave. I need more than that. I need more than that. I need mean, more than that. What you saying? You saying I got to go kick out a group of niggas and they done, haven't done nothing? Now you putting me in danger. Because as a man, what you mean you kicking me out and I haven't caused no issues? Right? When that, how would y'all react? Most of us, we're civilized. We're going to want some answers, but I'm walking out the door. Because, nigga, I'm not going to stay at a place that I know I didn't be in there y'all trying to kick me out. I'm walking out the door. But as I'm walking out the door, what's good, gang? I'm saying, yo, can I get some type of explanation? Like, why, why am I being kicked out? So they want me to go kick out a group of niggas that got dreads in their head. They tall, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, you know, I ain't scared to kick a nigga out. I kick niggas out all the time. No matter what race you is, I kick you out. No matter how big you is. If they say you got to go, you got to go. But I'm a respectful person. I give you the pat on the back, man. I apologize. They say you can't be here. You know, and I and I lead them respectfully. I don't push. I don't shove. I, I ask. So, but I'm saying, though, we, we know how I come when a nigga say, why am I being kicked out? I need some reason. So, I see this shit with my own eyes, bro. 
Black men, your image is everything. Your image is everything. Don't let these people tell you that they not judging you. If the way you dress and the way you carry yourself, your hygiene, how you wear your clothes, motherfuckers is judging you like a motherfucker. I don't know what it is. Everybody else can do what they want to do. But as a black man, if you look a certain way, they don't want you around. If you don't look like you have business cards in your pocket or you used to be a fly ass motherfucker, but uh, some, if you don't look like, if you don't have that type of persona, you are not wanted around in most of these establishments. They don't even want your money. They don't care how much money you got. If you don't look a certain way, they don't even want your business. I live it. I see it. I see it. And I'm talking about niggas be coming in with big money, big things going on in their life. Them niggas got to go. Just like I'd have seen it on the job where if you don't look a certain way, if you don't talk a certain way, they'll pass you over. You not, and no matter how qualified you are. So what I'm saying is stay on point. That's a lot of men that have been to jail, have a criminal report. So we don't give a fuck about what y'all say Donald Trump is charged with. Because we know half of the shit is falsely made up. We know half of the shit is made up. The other shit, the, the, the portion of it that's real, you ain't just not knowing about this. Y'all been know this nigga was doing wild, nasty shit up in there. Just like it when it comes to Diddy. You ain't just not know Diddy was doing what he's doing. See, people try to act like they fucking clueless out here. But, so, what I'm saying is, to stay on topic, a lot of black men get thrown away for having a criminal record. But y'all try to make us feel like we doing something bad for voting for Trump because he a criminal. Well, we see what y'all do to us. But for some reason, his people didn't throw him away. I wonder why. I wonder why Trump peoples did not throw him away. But in the black community, we commit crimes for our family. For our kids, for our wives, for our brothers and sisters, for the mother. And them same people will turn their back on us and say, uh-uh. You tell them I can't get no job. I need to stay on your couch. I need to crash on your couch. I've been trying to get a job, but you know, because of my criminal record, because of that thing I did, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get some money for the family. I, I, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I ended up getting jammed up, went to prison for a couple of years. So, you know, I'm, you know, they look at me different now. Well, guess what? The family that I was out here trying to hustle for, you shouldn't look at me no different. I shouldn't be a criminal in your eyes. But, Somehow I am, and somehow I get thrown away. It's so many family members, it's so many black men right now can't go to their family when they was out here grinding and hustling for their family. Now, once again, I, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna always say this. I don't advocate for niggas to go do regular things. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying as a man, you should go out here and do reckless shit, get yourself jammed up, and now ask people to, to lean on, you know, you want to lean on them, and you want them to be there for you, and you put yourself in these reckless positions. You want my friend to drive 300 miles to come to your prison. You want me to bring the family up to your jail cell because you went and committed these stupid crimes. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. For the ones that had to make a choice out of no choice. They had to make a way out of no way. They had to just get out there and try their best to get something. Because what else, what else did they have? I'm, I'm speaking on them situations. Them niggas still was thrown away. Them niggas still was outcasted. So we don't give a fuck what y'all trying to say about the nigga is a criminal. The nigga was a criminal before he took office, gonna be a criminal after office. She ain't no better. This woman have lied so much in our face, it don't even make no sense. This woman have, no, bro, it's not entirely her fault. She was thrown out there, y'all. They had, they had a nigga, you know, you know what, what, what's really crazy? Folks only care, 
Bingo. They only care when it benefit them. Once the benefit is gone, guess what? They don't give a fuck how many, how many years we got to do behind that shit. You feel me? Niggas be doing hard years behind their family and can't even get a letter. Can't even get a phone call. You feel me? But, um, I was about to touch on something, but I forgot. Y'all know I be rolling. We rolling tonight. We just, we just vibing, chopping it up and shit. But, um, oh yeah, let's say she be capping. Man, this woman right here, dog. This woman, she got thrown into a spot. You know, this is how I think something is, we really have a mental illness out here, y'all. For them people to let Joe Biden be up there as long as he was, knowing his condition, that should tell us everything we need to know about them people. They had this man that clearly was unfit. Now, they gave the wrong nigga the cognitive the test. Cognitive, whatever that word is. They test the wrong nigga. How you test a nigga that clearly looks stable for the most part, but definitely be saying some wild shit at time. But the motherfucker that actually falling down every day, riding, this nigga riding a bike, lean over. This nigga walking up the stairs, fall. This nigga walking down the stairs, fall. This nigga is looking into space when he's going to be talking to millions of people. He days, he, he look over and forget he talking to people. That's the nigga that not going to get a, like, bro. See, when you have a brain and you able to think for yourself, some shit just don't make sense. Like some shit wouldn't make sense to me. Like why? Yo, I listen. I heard. Yeah, I don't listen to the radio, y'all. My nigga say he can't even believe Trump almost eighty. You see, it looked different, though, right? That nigga's both old as fuck, but he looked different, though, right? We can actually see one nigga is 80 and we can see the other nigga might not. The nigga, okay, he might be 80, but he, he looking a little different. He moving a little bit different. <coughs> but y'all, hold on. Y'all, I don't listen to the radio. But today I would listen to the radio. Because I had took my phone out. When I took my phone off the USB, the radio popped on. Check this out, y'all. What did I say yesterday? I said the only reason these people want immigrants in the United States and the only reason these immigrants get to come over here and cross their border is for two reasons. To vote for Democrats and for free labor. Let me tell y'all what's going on. A lot of business owners are mad at black people right now. Let me show y'all how, how little they give a fuck about us. They mad at us because we didn't vote Democrat because they don't, they want to use us and they, and we tired of being used. So they saying, fuck, we can't use you poor motherfuckers. At least let us get these immigrants over here so we can use them. Man, I need bells and whistles in my shit. Cause I just hit a ding, 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 ding. They are mad at us because we knocking their hustle. Black people used to be the slave goats. No black men and women saying, that's all you paying? Fuck that, nigga. I can go make TikTok videos and make that. Fuck that, nigga. I can go make me a YouTube channel and make that. Fuck that, nigga. I can go drive over and make that. See, a lot of these companies are mad at black men and women because they done snapped out of that $15 an hour. They done snapped out of that $13 an hour. They mad at the new, they mad at Gen Z. Because Gen Z don't want to work for that chunk change, dog. Y'all been hearing it? These young kids say, well, hold up. I'm not my mama and daddy. You got me fucked up. You gonna have to pay me, Mr. Man. Yeah, that's what these kids are saying. See, these kids ain't coming out the gate talking about give me a job. Fuck you, nigga. I'm gonna own my own business. They don't like that. See, the black community used to be the community. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me create this business and um, we're going to pay them minimum wage. Haven't y'all been hearing for the last couple of years? Nigga, up that minimum wage, motherfucker. Uh, we need more on that minimum wage, partner. What the minimum wage is? 15? No, we need more than that. Uh-uh, we ain't going for that. 
We ain't going for that. Them, see, our generation, I'm going to say this. I'm 32, right? I'm going to say the generation under me. Them young niggas, them young girls, they ain't going for that. See, our generation, we kind of played around. We don't work for that $15. Y'all know, because we like, nigga, we just trying to get some money in our pocket. You feel me? That, that, that generation under us, them Gen Z, $15. Man, you don't get your ass on? You got, I ain't even finna come over there fucking with y'all, man, for no $15. And guess what? That got us saying to ourselves, like, damn, my dad really worked for $10. My daddy, my daddy, my father worked it in the woods cutting trees down for ten dollars and fifty cents do y'all know <laughs> do you know how what kind of labor that is if you never heard of a woodcutter go look it up a power saw working sun up to sundown so from 5 a.m to about 5 p.m with a chainsaw Sun up the sundown, cutting trees down all day for $10.50. That's what my daddy used to do. Nigga, you think I would ever, 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 ever work for $10.50? You think I would ever have a chainsaw in my hands? Cutting out a motherfucking tree for $10 while making this nigga millions of dollars? See, these corporations are making millions of dollars by underpaying the American citizen. Oh my God, I need bells and whistles in this bitch. I need some ding, 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 up in this motherfucker. Because that's what it is, right? Tell me what if I'm making sense to you, though. See, tell me what if I'm making sense to you. If I ain't making no sense to you, then let me slow that shit down like they do on Wildin' Out. A lot of corporations are upset because they can't undermine American citizens. So they need new motherfucking citizens to come to America so they can undermine them. And we fan, fuck that nigga. I'm smart enough to counter your attack. See, we hit a counter. By voting for Trump, it's a counter to the Democrat plan. See, they can't get American citizens to work for the $10, right? Okay, let me tell you the story first before I keep going. So I listened to the radio. And um, the dude on the radio said, a lady called in and she said, um, she said, Trump, 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 Trump. And you know, they hit, the, they hit her with the, ah, ha, ha, this bitch. They ain't say this bitch, but they hitting her with that. <laughs> okay, so what you got to say, ma'am? <laughs> what you got to say, ma'am? She said, Trump, Trump, Trump. She said, I told y'all Trump was going to get it. I told y'all Trump was going to get it. And then they said, so so what about Trump, you know, that you, that, you, that you was happy for the reason Trump won? She said, get them immigrants up out of here. That's, that's what she said. And they like, oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Let me ask you a quick question about that. So, if the immigrants go, he said, I own, this is a black man speaking, y'all. He said, I own a restaurant business. And he named some kind of fruit. fruit. He said, who going to go pick those fruits for my restaurant business for $10? She can hear her because she was too busy talking. She was on her black shit. Y'all know how that go. We're not going to sugarcoat it. She was too busy talking to even hear what he said. So she was like, yeah, they got to go. Because they ain't working for, you know, they working for $10 and stuff. Yeah, they got to go. So she thinking that they are agreeing with her. So she just still talking. She on her black woman shit. Y'all know what I'm saying? So he like, no, ma'am, listen. If, if they leave, if they get sent back to their country, who going to go pick those fruits for my restaurant for $10? For $10. He said... He, she said, she still talking. She still ain't heard the fucking question that he asked her. She's just still on her black woman shit. <laughs> so, finally, she heard the fucking question, question, and then she said, um, she said, nobody? Nobody? He said, my point 
if they get sent back, who gonna pick these these um strawberry for ten dollars? Do y'all understand what what that's saying? Type one if you understanding what that means. See, I wish I was uh, I wish I was live streaming on all my platforms, but don't worry about it. We're gonna spread this shit out. So we just rocking with twisting now. I'm not live on the YouTube, TikTok, and that like that at the moment. So, but what that's saying is that's saying that they can't get nobody to work for cheap labor. Because they want to make all the money. They want to put all the money in their pocket, so they're willing to pay you ten dollars. And if the immigrants don't come over to America, they know us black men and women that used to be our spot. We used to work for the ten dollars. We used to work for the thirteen dollars. I used to flip burgers for seven twenty-five. I, I know I ain't the only one, right? I'm the only one that worked for seven twenty-five before. I mean, I ain't always made forty-two dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? And some nights, 50, 50 some dollars an hour. That ain't always been me. And there was a time when I worked for seven twenty-five, seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Every two weeks, I used to take home two something, almost three something. I say the most I would take home by three twenty something, three forty something. Every two weeks. You know how crazy that is? You know what I was able to do with, with my little two something? Not a lot. I'm making $7.25 flipping burgers. I had a janitor job where I was making $8 and something. I think I was making $8.75 as a janitor. Y'all ain't never had no job like that? Come on, bro. I can't be the only one. That's crazy, right? But see, when you don't have qualifying, when you don't have the qualifications, aka, this is what a black job is. How many of y'all understand that? The black job is the job that you don't need a degree for. You don't need certificates. See, that's what Trump was trying to explain. But see, they try to take these words and run with them and act like he don't, he don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Trump ain't stupid. He know what a black job is. A black job is the job that you able to go get down the street. Building the houses. The, 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 the mechanics. The doing things with your hands. Those are the black jobs. But see... We've been working for free labor. We was working, we was being underpaid in a lot of those black jobs. Man, this shit, I'm telling you, I'm talking game. A lot of those black jobs was underpaying us. <laughs> but we ain't know no better. You know why? Because we just happy to have a job. We don't have a degree. We don't have a high school diploma. So we happy to have this job working for $13. $10, $11, $12. What else am I going to get? Everyone else tell me that I need my GED or a high school diploma. I'm a black man that didn't finish school, so what am I going to do? Come on, bro. Tell me it don't make sense to you. Tell me I ain't clicking up there. So Trump said the black job was being taken because they are. The immigrants are coming in that don't have the GED, that don't have the high school diploma, that don't have the degree. So he's able to get that job that you black men and women used to be able to get. But because you said, I no longer will work for $13, I'm going to go get my high school diploma. So you got niggas at 50 years old going to get their GED driving trucks now. See, they can't trick the black man to come in there and work for that low wage no more. Black men are saying, baby girl, come in. Come in here, baby girl. Set me up on this computer thing so I can get my GED. Okay. Well, yeah, set it up. Let me log in. Okay. 
You want to take the test for me? I give you some money. How many of us know somebody in our family that do degrees for the family? Can I get a ding, 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 ding? I'm talking heavy game right now. See, black people, we don't figure out how to scale my way to a degree. So, now nah, nigga ain't working for no $10. You see this degree I got? What school you went to? Don't worry about all that. But you go tell your partner, yeah, my cousin, she'll, she'll take this online class for you, nigga, and get your welding license. But you got to go, not only, okay, let's not say welding license because, you know, you got to actually go and get some, some trades behind that. But let's just say um, you need your associate degree. Let's say you need, you know, uh, hey, bro, them associates going for the, how much y'all got to pay you for that? Okay, hell yeah. See, I got a family member I can call right now and say, you know what? I'm trying to get this associate degree because they want me to have this on my resume, you know, with the security shit. So uh, can you help me out with that? Oh, I got you. I got you. Don't even strip. See, a lot of these, th oh, you need your GED? You need your high school diploma? Oh, I got you. Don't even trip. You need your bachelor's? Oh, I got you. Don't even trip. How, you don't know nobody that's willing to do all this for you for a couple dollars? Maybe two, three hundred dollars? They'll have you with your bachelor's in a couple of months? You don't know nobody that'll get your GED? See, we have fi See, one thing about us, we'll figure out some shit. We just need a little motherfucking time to figure out. But when we'll figure it out. We survivors out here. We survivors out here. We'll figure it out. So a lot of black people are not bottom feeders anymore. You can't dangle. You can't dangle your stressful job, your toxic job. See? Did I just tell y'all the other day? Am I not an example of what I'm saying? I told y'all a nigga offered me 65000 to protect billionaires. Do I need to show y'all the missed calls of him blowing my phone up to renegotiate the contract? Because I said, no, nah, you got me fucked up. You ain't going to give me no 65000 nigga. Do I look like I'm worth 65000 You know what it was? The nigga wanted me so bad because he seen how that company. So we had to go do a meet and greet to, you know, get everything rolling. They wanted to meet me. You know, I already was hired in through the security company. Um, but the posi but the, the thing they want to do, I could I, I was gonna work with the sixty five thousand. Sixty five, I could I for what they wanted me to do, I could sixty five would have been cool. You know what I'm saying? But as we go meet, he see how they, oh, you got you one. Oh, he the real deal. And he's so composed. You know what I'm saying? He know, he been around a celebrity, so he already know how to maneuver. I'm used to celebrities. I deal with them. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't no groupie. I ain't the guy that up there, you know, trying to, I'm here to protect them. I'm not here to be a fan. You know what I'm saying? So, I know how to deal with these entourages. You know what I'm saying? I done been around them. So, um, he seen how they was gravitating to me. The, the, the store owners. They was like, oh yeah, we looking forward to seeing you back here. You're going to be back here Sunday, right? And I was like, you know, it's up to him. You know, he was like, yeah, he's going to be here Sunday. He's going to be here Sunday. I'm in my suit. I got my inside gun. You feel me? You can't see it. Um, it's not visible to the public. I'm sharp. I got my tie on real smooth. I got my shoe laced up. I got my watch on the left wrist. I'm looking real professional. Got my hair cut. I got a clean facial hair. I'm just looking real good. I'm standing real strong in that motherfucking suit. You still can see. Like, even though I got on the suit, you can see that nigga. He's still up. Uh. So they loving that. When I got back to the house, I looked at the contract. I said, man, after doing some thinking, I said, it's not going to be a position for me. I said, 65000 is just not enough for the detail. I'm not going to tell you the details because it's a high end. It's, 
big ballers come through there. But I said, based on these details, 65,000 won't do it for me. The fact that he already knew what we was getting into and still offered me 65,000, I said, he playing in my face. He think I'm an immigrant. <laughs> oh, oh, ding, 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 ding. I'm talking heavy game tonight. See, the old me would have took the 65,000 and <laughs> I would have been happy to get that 65,000. I said, but the new me, nigga, I know better. I know how much I'm worth. You ain't gonna give me no 65,000 to protect millionaires and billionaires in the, in the, in the amount of time that y'all want from me. You want me to be with this person around? You want me to be with these people around the clock? Don't know when I'm going home. And you're going to give me 65000 That nigga blew my phone up. We need you. We need you. Come on, man. Come on. If you just come in. He wanted, because they wanted me. See, the, the, the business wanted me. He know they wanted me. You know how much they're going to pay him? Motherfucking three point something million. And you're going to give me 65000 They paying you three point something million? And all you going to do is contract it out to me? The old me wouldn't have knew that, though. I know how this business go. You just you get the money and just go get some young niggas that want to do security. And here we go. They're going to See, they call it warm bodies. And then actual bodies that do something. See, I'm the body that actually protect and do things. Pay attention, understand things. I'm not the warm body that goes sit on the post and play on my phone. See, that's not me. That's why no matter where I go, they love me in the business of security. You feel me? So I told the nigga 65,000 not gonna work for me. The nigga said, he said, he said, man, please just come Sunday and we can renegotiate the contract Monday. Just please come. No response. We can't renegotiate because you already knew the details. You already knew the high status of these people and you know how much you getting from this. And I'm not, see, I'm not the type of worker that concerned with how much money my boss making. That's not my lane, but I do know how much I'm worth. And I do know how much this person or these people that I'm protecting is worth. And 65000 is not enough for to be taking some of these niggas with some of these entourages that they got going on. Some of these beef. See, what we think is entertainment be real life street beef. These celebrities having real beef. But we got to go out there and put our life on the line to protect these celebrities. When they causing silly ass beef. So now they want to come in. It's so many different ranking of celebrities coming into this area right so this entourage might be walking out while that entourage may be coming in ain't nobody's taking a gun from them you know why because celebrities for to be able to keep their guns they entourage so you got an entourage of 20 people everybody got a fucking gun i'm for to protect this shit for sixty five thousand. better go find your immigrant and this is not a disrespect to immigrants. Let me, I, I'm tripping. I apologize. The way I'm saying it, it's not to disrespect or slight my brothers and sisters that are coming to the United States. This is, I apologize. I'm, I'm being entertaining, but I'm trying to share some truth. And the entertainment is sounding like I'm trying to diss my brothers and sisters that are coming to the United States the correct way. I apologize. I'm not, I'm not trying to slight you or say it like that. I, 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 the entertainment just the entertaining of the truth that I'm giving because you know you still got to be entertaining with this type of stuff so what I'm saying is I'm speaking truth to all my brothers and sisters that are not equipped with the qualifications you will take the job that us black men and women and other races of men and women that are in this country we refuse to take and it's not that we refuse to take them. It's that, that we know we're being underpaid. So why would we let you come over here freely and undermine the system that we trying to say we need more money? 
Do you understand that? If we allow immigrants to come into our country and go work for the five dollars, what do that do for us? How do that help us? We have families, we have lives, we have um um uh, uh, we gotta live here. You get benefits that are gonna go along with the money and time that you can generate from working for the ten dollars. And some of y'all actually go get the, the qualification to make the big bucks. But a lot of y'all don't because you hear it legal. So I'm not trying to diss you or discredit or, 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 or slight you. I'm just simply giving truth. It doesn't work for the American citizen that actually got to live here and be here forever or not be here forever. Because, you know, we can leave. But why the fuck we want to leave? Why the fuck would we leave the United States and go over there if y'all are running from y'all country to come here? The fuck I'm going to go? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go that's going to give me a chance to hustle every day? I mean, there may be places out there, but it seems like to me, you niggas trying to get over here. That got to be a sign to me. If, if somebody trying to get into my house, break into my country, why the fuck? I must got a nice ass country. I must just got my blinders on I can't see the great country that I live in because I must be I must live in a fantastic country for motherfuckers to be crawling under the ground to get here god damn what they got over here that I don't know about well they got a lot of opportunities over here and we're talking so much game we ain't even got into the content that's how much game we're talking right now we're supposed to be reacting to some videos we 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 about an hour in we ain't react to no video Okay, I think I'll drop some heavy gems. So let's get into the reaction, man. I think I'll drop some heavy gems. You know, just to, just to say that again, you know, I'm not trying to slight or disrespect nobody. We just talking heavy game. We just speaking the truth. We just speaking the truth. All right, let's get into these to these reaction videos. If, like I said, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some Democrat meltdown videos. Then we're gonna do the two K stuff, and then I'm gonna close it out with some gem. You feel me? So we got about four videos to react to. 